Hello, and welcome to Andy's Tech over here in Old Blighty. Tired of carrying around your heavy gaming PC? Fed up of the back-breaking work? Well, you need to get yourself a newfangled gaming laptop. So put the kettle on, old chap. Sit back, relax, as we've got you covered. My name's Andy, and this is Andy's Tech. Now, laptops aren't really my thing. I use a laptop for work and daily tasks, but never for gaming. When I was about 13 I did buy a new laptop though with the money I made from flipping PCs and I carried it around my school like a right. Well you know, I wasn't too popular with the ladies as you can imagine. Anyway fast forward and eat your heart out Chris Hemsworth. I was sitting writing up a few build sheets for gaming PCs as you do you know and I wondered if I could buy a half decent gaming laptop for under £300. Anyway this is what I came up with, I hope you enjoy the video. In this box we have a Mizzy GL626QD. Now strangely enough that's almost a postal address to where I live but I don't want to give you guys that just in case you bombard me with free stuff. Uh, I did have some requirements for this laptop as this isn't complete madness although it may seem like it. The laptop had to be boxed as people who keep the boxes generally look after their stuff. Laptops can have a hard life and I didn't want this thing to break down on me after a month. I'm happy to pay a little more for something in nice condition than something that's been like thrown around a kid's bedroom in Fortnite death for ages. It had to have a 4 core processor as a minimum to try and keep up with modern games, 8GB of RAM or more, a GPU with at least 2GB of dedicated video memory, an SSD as I'm not dealing with a laptop hard disk drive, ain't no one got time or patience for that slow dev. <laughs> ok so uh, back to the laptop in question. The Mizzy GL62 was an entry level gaming laptop released in 2016 for £695 and me now being the second owner for which I paid £275 for the privilege. It has had some upgrades in its life being a 500GB SSD nice, and 16GB of 2133MHz DDR4 RAM in dual channel. GPU wise we have a GTX 950M with 2GB of GDDR5. Not the most powerful GPU going but we should be able to play some games, maybe, surely. We also have an i5 6300HQ, a Skylake 4 core processor running at 3.2GHz. There's a 15.6 1080p 60Hz display as well. I guess they only assumed that you were going to get 60fps. I'm not sure whether that's going to be a good thing or not. Uh, anyway, we should probably do some laptop things before we try out any games. The battery lasts about 2 hours for general tasks. It's not too heavy, but will spend most of its life on my desk anyway, so that's not a problem. In fact, it's there now as I write this script. You can open it-ish with one hand, as that's a laptop thing apparently. Uh, it's kind of quiet and idle, have a listen. And this is it running in Heaven Benchmark under full load. Ok, so that's about it for laptop things. I think we should test out some games. I have tried to be as gentle and brutal as I can with the games I'm going to test. I am aware this laptop will have its limitations. So first up something to break it in slowly. Minecraft. Now I could only get the Microsoft Store version to work for some reason. It just wouldn't let me log into my Mojang account. But that said, we had no trouble returning a solid 60fps average, running at 1080p, with all the settings turned up, and 12 chunks of render distance. Really, Minecraft can run on anything, as we've tried in other videos, so this was an expectable result. So moving on to Overwatch next. Another easy to run online multiplayer title, and at 1080p medium settings, we had no trouble with an average fps of 68. The 1% lows were worth noting as they seemed a little low to me, but I'm sure this happened when I died and respawned, as I certainly couldn't notice them in combat, so Overwatch is very playable on a system like this. Ok, so it wouldn't be much of a budget gaming laptop if we couldn't run Fortnite, and we did manage a plus 60fps average at 62fps. I used the DirectX 11 low preset with full resolution scaling at 1080p and with epic view distance. Now this was playable, but I expected this little laptop to do a little bit better here. This could be addressed by dropping the view distance or playing at a lower resolution. Maybe Fortnite's getting a little more demanding in its old age, who knows. The 1% lows were fine at 28fps, 
So we pulled through this one, and I've certainly had a lot worse Fortnite experiences. So Rocket League, and it smashed it at 720p high settings, returning a 100 FPS average. For some reason though, I could only select 720p in the game's menu, so 1080p wasn't an option. But no complaints here. Something a little more demanding next, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and the in-game benchmark returned a 34.93 FPS average at 1080p low settings. Now for a game like this, I consider that playable, but on the limit, but I would have no trouble playing through the game like this, and have done before. So last up, Call of Duty Vanguard, and yeah, maybe I was expecting a little too much here. At 1080p low, with performance FSR on, and we struggled. Not only did it look really bad, it was barely playable, with 44 FPS average. Nice. So please don't buy something like this to play COD on, and expect you'll get away with it, because you won't. I did think it would do a little better though, and the 1% lows were above 30 FPS. But really, you need a plus 60 FPS experience in a game like this. Okay, so as always, this video was generally for entertainment purposes and not a guide or recommendation to go out and buy a system like this. But if you were looking for something portable that didn't take up a lot of space and could play a few esports titles for a few hundred pounds, then honestly this would be perfectly suitable. I believe there is a model with a GTX 960M which would be a better option in today's world, but anything more demanding than esports titles. Uh, no. And on that note, thanks for watching the video. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't done so already. If you're interested in my content, maybe check out Tech Lab UK or Offbit Tech. I'll put their links to their channels in the description below. Hopefully see you in the next one. Take care, God bless, and see you soon.